Talo for everyone, I'm Omalia Sione Sione here from Organic Talanoa. Welcome to season two. It's been a bit of a journey. We've gone through season one. Thank you to those who have liked, subscribed, and shared. Want to thank a few people Campfire Studios with Will and Guy, also Miranda Davis, around with the background uh, work that she's doing. Also, want to thank our families, our friends that have been supporting this Talanoa. As well, I'd like to thank my wife for supporting this crazy idea. Glad you're here for the journey. Lots more interesting Talanoa. Enjoy season two. This was for you and you and you. And you and you and you. This was for you and you and you. Da 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 da. So hello for everyone, uh, I'm Ari Sione Sione here, um, welcome again to another episode of uh, Season 2. Uh, today we have uh, another awesome guest, Faleao Seotia Sue Mai, so uh, we're looking at a uh, home of the brave, Old Tara Boy, <laughs> uh, went over to Australia, um, has come back over this side again, um, done a copious amount of work with youth. Uh, but um, it's an awesome pleasure to have uh, Falao Seotia in, um, in the studio today. So just uh, have a catch up and our organic talanoa, <laughs> um, executive director of uh, Karas Mentoring. Uh, no doubt at some stage he'll be able to elaborate on that. But uh, welcome, bro. Welcome to uh, Organic Talanoa, Faleo. <laughs> good to be here. Finally, it's good to be here. And uh, yeah, my Lord loves you for my love you, ma. Yeah, thank you, Uncle Mali, for the opportunity. It's good to be here. Oh, nice, bro. Um, maybe just a brief uh, catch up on um, uh, things uh, you've kind of done already. Uh, yeah. Lines of work, um, yeah. how family is, yeah. um, where you're situated now at the moment. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, bro. Just uh, you can just um, yeah, maybe just sort of give us a bit of a, 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 a good insight of the journey that you've gone through so yeah. far. Well, I like I like the intro. You said the home of the brave. Obviously, you're proud of Tyrion, but for me, growing up, it was always the the promised land. So um, <laughs> yes. I guess you know, like any staunch. Uh, Otaria, you know, you would, it's, um, you know, we come from a community, not just Otara, but other communities that, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we rise above our circumstances. And, um, and I guess, um, for me, that's what led me to do what I'm doing now for probably close to, yeah, shucks, I think getting up there to, to the two decades now. Man, if I think about it, so um, if I start back uh, married, um, to uh, my lucky man, to married to Taua Suemai, um, we have three beautiful kids. Um, uh, we've we'll both um, been in, she's a teacher by trade uh, for over 10 years, and uh, yeah, my obviously, uh, you know, my uh, my joy and my, my drive is is, is, um, is my children now, with uh, especially working with other people's children um, <laughs> for a long, long time. And so, so yeah, um, I'm born and raised in Ota, like you said, uh, uh, Odu College boy, um, nice. proud Odu College boy. Obviously, I've uh, got to connect them there, my Odu Rugby Club as well. Um, you know, and then, then a lot of my, uh, my trade or a lot of my um, experience in youth was uh, in South Auckland. Whether it was um, mentoring in schools or even um, uh, working youth work in the, uh, on Ground Zero in Otara for a few years, and then after that, um, married in 2012, and then we went to Australia in Melbourne, and um, yeah, like anything, you know, it's all about growth, and I think uh, when you're mentored by uh, amazing people that you know you learn a lot from, and yeah. uh, you know, then oh, you know what they always say if you can. If you can uh, make it work in Otara, you can make it work anywhere, and it's, and it's pretty true. So, um, but yeah, there's obviously there's a little bit more in there. But yeah, we love that. I think we had all our all our three children are born in Melbourne, so Melbourne's kind of like a second home. Um, and in terms of work wise, we um, we establish a uh, a Pacific uh, Youth Services, uh, like I said, Kairos Mentoring. Uh, again, that was born out of the um, again people who have. Um, Influenced and shaped mm. my life, and also my wife's life as well. Um, and again, the need was to uh, support for our Pacifica young people uh, in, in schools or even um, uh, our most vulnerable, um, you know, and it comes with um, supporting our families too. So, yeah, uh, that. And then we just recently relocated back the beginning of this year. Um, like everything, you know, there comes a time where always home, 
you know, the heart is always home, dad's yeah. here, my sister. And, and, and yeah, and I feel like, man, we'll, 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 we'll serve well over there. It's not finished yeah. because we, we're still managing from here by God's grace. We're, it's still working. Um, we have an incredible team there. So pretty, pretty blessed that, um, yeah, I think it's a testament of uh, good systems. And, uh, um, but yeah, a lot of love, uh, a lot of trust. Nice. Uh, yeah. Before it gets away, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> it gets away on us, um, I just wanted to come back to uh, your work you had done with uh, yeah. I guess the, the youth in uh, Ōtara. Yeah. So it's kind of that, by the sounds of it, has led on to the, or well, one, working with some amazing people yeah. um, that have helped to grow grow that yeah. um, in Ōtara, uh, the work there, and then that's sort of um, been the backbone a bit of uh, going into Australia yeah, uh, with uh, yeah. Karas. So, uh, yeah, man, how, how did that go, uh, or how did it come about? Probably be the first one. Yeah. I, like anything, I think when you work in our field, uh, I want to say our field, like working as a youth worker, I mean, probably my my, my, um, my roles now, my school is a bit wider than that, but like, you know, I was a young, keen youth worker. My gift, I thought, was just rugby, but I think my other gift too was yeah, able to shout people. And But like, you know, a lot of the, the, the traits of a good youth worker is being a good person. And, and again, uh, a lot of that's been um, uh, from my parents, uh, mm. especially dad's my... Uh, He's my champion, uh, you know, how he serves in Tai so, um But yeah, but then for me, it's, uh, you know, I, I've been blessed to be, um, uh, it's been a, like a, what's the word, a collective from other amazing dads, yeah. other people, uncles and aunties and who've um, seen potential in you and hey, you could be, you're more than a rugby player. Um, so I guess uh, having that, uh, you know, I know uh, uh, I was great and engaging, so I could do all of that. But then one thing that um, I've, I've learned um, that you need to have substance. Um, the, the, what's the anchor? Where, yeah, it's great you can play, catch a ball and all that. Yeah, but what can they take away? Because you, as the reality is, um, the young people you work with, you don't work with them for a long, long time. So I've learned, oh, it's about really imparting, you know, if you have the one opportunity, like what is that? You have to be intentional. Yeah. You have to be, yeah, you can, um, what, what the masters of, uh, um, what do you call it? We can on the spot, you know, because I've been, we've been put on the spot growing up. <laughs> Why Sunday? Everything, you know, on the spot. Um, but you know, even though it come with a lot of tears, but you know, it, it really helped me. Um, what I'm doing now, like, you know, you just like, and even by on the spot, always be ready. Yeah, be prepared. Just always be ready. And I think that's what I love about uh, our, our culture or upbringing is, um, you know, that um, is that just always be ready. Have your soul ready. You know, um, the battle is. Uh, my mentality in what I do is um, uh, there's no rest. I mean, you always sharpen your sword to keep going in what you do, you know. And uh, so, so for me, uh, you got to have a, a point of difference. And and I think you know when you come from a community, you know, we've always been a point of difference. And I think that's why um, to do it over there I wasn't born over there. It was already um, birthed here in Otara from my family. And again. Uh, got the opportunity to spread our wings in Melbourne. Quite funny, uh, just listening because uh, yeah. obviously I know uh, Dad's one of the mentors for myself in church. Yes, but, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, and and it's the same thing he always tells me. You know, you got to be prepared. You know, and I was saying, oh, what do you mean prepared? So I guess we hold the two main roles in our church, and he goes, if I'm not there, then you're the next one. And uh, he's thrown me a lot of short balls, man. So it's uh, good to see that um, he's imparted that in the, yeah. uh, to yourself as well. Yeah. Um, with the the work, uh, like preparing some of our youth in that, like uh, yeah. as you were saying, uh, building that foundation and then yeah. um, trying to create other ideas that's going to engage, yeah. uh, add value to our youth. Um, was that... Uh, if I go back to Australia and Melbourne, yeah. like if I go now to Melbourne with the journey, like how was that? Was that an easy step going in or does it like pretty much you had to link in with other organisations mm. or and like and was uh, the amount of stress? Was there any stress in that trying to set that all up yeah. over there? Uh, yeah, yes, it's a short answer. I think it's uh, like it, it was a definite leap of faith. Um and again, it's all about the environment. You know, Australia is very um, diverse. Yeah. So we landed, or I landed first in 2000 and, um, 2011. Um, yeah, you, the, the needs, the issues are really similar here. But um, one of the big differences I, I felt like over there was the um, um, the lack of identity, the lack of uh, belonging. If you're not connected to a, a traditional uh, Pacific church, where you know you get yeah. to hear hear your language all the time, and uh, you know you got aunties and uncles, um, a lot of 
young people, even uh, young parents uh, around my age, you know, they were left our big families, yep. you know, all of them are here in Aotearoa, you know, or in the islands. Over there was um, someone from their family took a leap of faith. And, you know, obviously, you know, we move for um, for a better life for our children and, um, you know, we can provide more. So I get that. There's, yeah. there's, 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 it's definitely seemed the main reasons why we move from, you know, from the mm-hmm. islands to here and then over here in Aotearoa to Australia. So I, I get that. Um, so it was definitely uh, very, uh, I want to say, uh, a lot of white walls. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, uh, I'll be I'll be honest, you know, people that have, uh, when you start this field, like, um, we were kind of like um, building, putting pieces together of people before us that um, try to do probably all good intentions, but, you know, not understanding the system there, some of the rules, even, um, you know, the, um, having that balance of spirituality, but, um, you know, well-being and all that. And I get that, you know, because, but, but, you know, you kind of question their heart. That they try to do So we've got a lot of that Oh yeah Are you guys like those people You know They came here Took the money mm-hmm. that and, uh, You know So we it's, it's nothing new All the issues there And I think one thing I've learned um, That you know yeah, It's how you respond To those issues So yeah Let's go back to strength base Let's go back to What you can control And you know What does success look like So again Through experiences Okay so This is what it can look like And we started You know Went back to What works well We go Let's go with schools Let's start with schools. That's our bread and butter. We've done it for a long time. How it all works. We kind of know the environments and, you know, how what what um, uh, you know what leadership are after yeah. reports in there. What it what it looks like from my work. So, um, yeah, I won't say the perfect, but you know, we already had a um had that knowledge and expertise yeah. coming over. So we started there. And then yeah, same thing. When kids light up, when you hear your language, when they light up, when they walk in the room, and we've kind of like. Change the environment. I'm a bigger. Um, I think one of the key things for me. I'm big on changing the environment. Of course, everything's mundane in school. Same old, same old. So we're only there once a week. So you know, for me, okay, take our fella. How can we change our environment? Add our music. Have our language. Like we gotta make home because. You know, everything home, you know, we, Familiar, so as you know, we're growing up being, uh, um, you know, you know, being the generation of being born, you know, in, in New Zealand, you know, so we're, we're kind of like that, um, you know, it's all, oh, okay, balancing, trying to navigate culture, language, and then just having some of those um, elements in the classroom, it makes a big, big yeah. difference. And I think that's the, been uh, our point of difference or kind of like why our programs are so successful because it's always anchored in culture. Yeah. And then for me, there was a, Kind of like a paradigm shift because I was all about engagement, sports, um, food, and all that. Just have fun. But then, you know, again, it goes back to substance. Let's go back to their needs mm. and what's going to help them progress well or do well in school. Navigating home, church, school, trainings, you know, but being mentally well, being physically well, and being having the, the words to articulate to mum and dad, you know, oh, you know, these things that are kind of, hey, hey, you can't, you know, do that. But you, because, if we don't, you know, um, encourage our kids to, there's a way. And our parents will listen if there's a certain way. Yeah. So it's all about building confidence um, to speak up. But yeah, so it's, it's all been a, a work in progress. You keep, you keep flipping, you flip to um, every school's different, every, um, every community's are different. And, you know, so it's been, yeah. Talk about the, um, I guess, something like a bit more of a, uh, leading with action. Yeah. Um, if people want to see, you know, what yeah. can you do? I guess the trust, uh, the building yeah. the trust there too. Uh, I guess with the, the kids and there, with, um, they love to see, you know, things that you do, like something that's different. Um, I love the idea with the fella, you know, yeah. and um, probably just being able to sit there and maybe jam some music, like you say, in the background. Yeah. Um, and then maybe just striking up conversation or just... It's um, not your norm, I guess it's not your norm, but probably just what (laughs) environments that they're used to. Um, Heck, you know, they can just start TikToking in the toilet, you know, you you laugh getting around the schools and, you know, like uh, the hidden areas and I'm I'm walking past and I go, hey, uh, you know, the phone there, there's about three of them doing TikTok, but it just seems to be the change of the environment now. You know, like uh, kids find uh, different ways of probably interacting, engaging as well. So um, for yourself with the... um, now with uh, we're talking about the well being of the kids. Yeah. Uh I guess you're over there, um, maybe even to the point where you've come back, uh now sitting up over there, like um was it was that stressful coming back, making your way back over the side again? We we always plan like uh 
talking to you know Tawa, like we may plan ten years, we give us our ten years yeah. in Australia to do what we need to do, and then we'll, obviously we want we we'll have children and just be be closer to our families, be here for our families, yeah. be here for our parents. Uh, but definitely, I mean, when you're raising a young family um, and even starting up your, your own um, company, mm-hmm. they, like you, you, you do, you work more than just one job, you know. Um, and I get what my assurance is there because I've seen my dad work. I've seen um, other working, other families, how they work, night shift and day shift. I've seen families, like, we make it work, yeah. aunties, supports and that. I guess when in Australia, it was, that was probably one of the things, if you don't have an extended family of support, because it's so, you know, we've got all the support here and out there, but over there, oh, it, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, you, you know, yeah, you do what you can and, and, and um, you know, but you keep going. And I think that's one of the things, like, you know, if there's anything that uh, uh, my mentors like Elena Vaa and other people see, like they just keep going, yeah. you know, just keep because we've seen what's like, you know, we've seen that it works, and I think uh, we took it upon ourselves, especially for me, like you know, why why would we commit our time into this? Because we really believed that we had something, and it was a real need, and I'm glad we were kind of like because um, back then it was a uh, um, we weren't as visible, you know, our Pacific communities in terms of support, not many. Services like to understand or this or professional service back yeah. then, so we were kind of like I felt like we we're going back in time because you know we left here like you know it was you know we got lots of professional lots of services mm. here but going there it's um like I said I just go back to uh, white walls or you know and then you see if you see someone and you see oh it's a Samoan or Tongan you know you just you just want to put your hand up you know the uh, the Maori uh, yeah. eyebrows you know and you just connect you just, oh so, you know. And, uh, and and I think that's the beauty. Like you know, I guess we what we have here. You don't know what you have so yeah. good here so you, until yeah. you leave. And, yeah. and I encourage, I encourage people to step out, step out of your comfort zones or comfort environments because you need that. You need to because I think when you um, not just for youth, but especially those working with youth, yeah, you need to realize like uh, what you have, like it's it's gold. Yeah. And people will, you know, um, they they you you're, they know your worth. And I think for a lot of us who've been in this game years, I think it's um, knowing that man, the um, knowing really, know really knowing your worth, you know, because you hear it. Yeah. Oh, can you come and engage with Shoni? Shoni, so look, can you come and engage with um, Fala Nico? Um, how do you work with him? How do you, you know, we get that all the time, yeah. uh, all the time. And, and it's not a brown thing, brown brown. It's a hot thing. Kids building know, their, hey, key yeah. you're building their relationship be. Well, this is key. <laughs> yeah. And the people don't know um there's a lot of work to go into it. Yeah. But you know, they just see the the icebreakers. They just see the laughter, hear the laughter, they see, you know, oh they anyone can do that. Yeah. Yeah. But when they come, you know, that that's um those relationships you bank it because um when hard times come for them, that's when they say, Oh dear, you know, I'm going through some stuff. You know what I mean? You hear that. Or whatever mm-hmm. we present, we, we talk about, you know, how do you um get all of that so yeah. as an example of some of the things that we do. Um, even though in the classroom we've got every kids from different islands representing, but it's all about um the values. That's what connects us all. So that's what um it gets across so like oh they can understand and like I said earlier, it's what can that's one day they can take away with them. And then have and they can f- deeper their discussion with their when they tell them not with their parents or with their with grandma. Yeah. Hey, there's a where we heard it now in our Tao Tai session. Tao Tai is the name of our school program. Yeah. And then it just gets the conversation, making our convos more normal. Start with English and then who knows they might add on some more or some of their our own um Pacific words. Yeah. But that's the encouragement, you know. We're not uh learn the language and you know nah, it's about Again, it's about um, context. It's about um, understanding the concepts that young people can use when they're um, on the dining table yeah. or when they're sitting down and in a tree. Oh, you know, just the creating safe spaces for them that they are when to they can do it when yeah. be allowed to do it. Um, with uh, must be good being back uh, though with um, and still being able to catch. I know you live up uh, further up yeah, north. Yeah, Napoli. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which is um, they've, they've been all, only that's probably another conversation. Oh, yeah. But the um, uh, just being back with dad and having that support yeah. and the, the foundation is like um, has it been good though being back with uh, like um, 
you know, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll be honest, you know, like, because uh, I've been just going, man, I hope their boys come back, you know, like, because uh, <laughs> I know the old man's got a lot to share, bro, and then I was yeah. just like, and, and it's one of these things, you know, he's, we've built a relationship, me yeah. and the old man, and, and he does share stuff with me too around the cultural stuff, and I was just saying, you know, this is something more easy, you know, like, this is so, it must be good to be back and just catch up with the old man and talk about these sort of things, you know, like, actually having good casual talent or two. Yeah, I oh man, I love being home. Like, you know, yeah, I, I, obviously Melbourne's special because our children and also our work is still going, operating there. But, you know, again, about it's about us and it's something that we don't uh, really talk about because we always give and give and give. Yeah. But for me, this, I'm being selfish. Yeah, I just want to maximise my time with my parents, with my dad yeah. and my family and uh, friends, you know, even your son, Sunny, you, you, I love you, uh, you are the Michael Jordans of our church, you know, <laughs> we look up to you guys, you know, and that's uh, just uh, really encouraged by your journey and, uh, see, when I talk to my dad, like, you know, your, your name is always like a second name, really. <laughs> and, 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 you know, that's like when I'm seeing your mum, you know, the same thing, you know. When I see your mum, I, I, that's a, for me, oh, that's a, my mum or my auntie, that kind of yep. offer. Mm. And I, I, you know, I like the word uh, collective because for me, if my children are with you or with people that I know, I know they're getting the same kind of offer or more or reaffirming um, some, hey, this is how we do things, right? And and and, and I think that's, that. I, I don't know whether this younger generation were relying on social media to teach us how to, how to um, you know, do things well. Yeah. Okay. Well, teach us to cook, teach us. But, you know, there's influence. And there's nothing new. You know, there's always influence our young people even in the early days before. It's whatever the, the influence is, then you need a, what are you going to counter? And um, I guess for me it was, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, coming back home, definitely uh, we needed it to be around family. And uh, I think for me it's that season, like, I want to now put my support for my family, yeah. like, be there for my brother, be there for my sisters, be there for my friends that are, you know, um, I think I've got a few godsons, so, you know, I want to be a uh, bit man, but uh, up my game, being yeah. a good godfather, and, but all the roles, you yeah. know, that we, but, but you know, yeah, uh, then I guess coming back home, um, Again, um, uh, the late great Alan Far, you know, we spoke about uh, me coming home. Like, you knew, coming home, and I told him, yeah, when I come home, you just gonna, you just do what you do best here. Yeah. Just keep sharing your stories, you know. But, you know, what, what, what I always remember is that uh, he, he allowed me to be me. Um, and yeah, I learned a lot the long, hard way. But, and then I think um, it's been the process. How do you, process when we do something wrong how do you make that person not feel bad but make them strengthen them but knowing hey don't do that again yeah. so uh, where I'm at now that's what I'm doing now with my team now you know as a, as a manager or with supervision like how do you bring it? and I think for me is that um uh, on my lead, I call it the the one percenters. Like, yeah, we can have the the ninety nine great youth workers, but there's that one percent of youth workers that are just have it. Yeah, it's just you know they are deeper in it. They 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 just got um they're just totally committed for the long run, not for the short run, not for the not for the um you know for the lollipops or the candy. I mean these are the ones that um. I'm not worried about the spotlight. They, because it's about who's our spotlight is our young people. Just bringing them into spotlight. And again, so so that's, uh, you know, for, for, for me, that's where I'm at. So I, I really get a kick when I meet um, young people or people, but then they're doing this and they just say, here, oh, this young man's person, this young girl's got this, oh, you know. And even, uh, you know, even guys that are, are been training together they're still doing you know like the, the great uh, Siwa Lamatia you know that I call him the Dr. Hugh because he had all the lolly whatever's in his pocket this guy a magic trick or cards or but you know for for us you know our, our young people you know they, they gravitate to hands on stuff yeah. how do you make that picture you know then how you communicate um, that whatever message and um, you know that's the that art that I was saying earlier um, one percent has have a, a unique craft yeah, and then I think, and also they just keep going. Yeah, that's why they've been, you know, some even others they've uh, you know rest in peace that just just keep going. They've never uh, wavered, uh, you know. They've always stayed the course, and, and if not, they'll pass on the baton to uh, you and us. So I feel like I've been passed on the baton. Um, even when I went to Melbourne, in, in coming back here, you know, I feel like there's um, there's other people doing amazing stuff. Even some of the young, the young people I work with at two seven four. Now, man, they're just I'm incredible youth workers. Yeah. I'm listening to them. I'm learning a lot, you know, and I think one thing 
And you both know if we stop learning, we start thinking, oh, shucks, we know everything. Oh, yo, Gonski, so, I mean, yeah, just when you know, oh, you need a holiday or go for, go to church or, um, you know, just, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess that's why I'm still in the game. Have you even got to a point where sometimes you've had to sort of step back a bit and just sort of reassess yourself in terms yeah. of like, uh, man, is it, am I overworking myself mm. or, um, or maybe you may have a way on which you uh, be able to um, uh, sort of Re, or get yourself set, reset again. Yeah. Um, so whether that can be in um, some physical activity yeah. or like have you come across that? How, well, what's your mechanism? I, I guess I'm trying to hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think that's a key question for anyone that talks to it, that serves, that just give their all. Like you, you need a, um, uh, I was, I was I'm fortunate to have my, my wife, Tal, we just bounce off ideas. Yeah. Um, you know, we're able to, um, Ensure that um you know we don't give our our kids uh, the least of us, but even for myself, just I want to be just uh, be be the dad, the dad, not the ifa, be a husband to my wife, yeah. not the you know all the different heads to be wear. Uh, but definitely, uh, um, I got a uh, obviously close people in my circle that they keep me accountable, pray for me, and uh, I can always go to and uh, oh you know just just uh, bounce off. What do you reckon? Always always looking to um always looking how to um. Yeah, if could, could I, is there another way? So forth. So a lot of times it's like uh, you, you're, le- you're learning on the run. Um, I love it. Um, there's a saying where, you know, um, when things happen, you're trying to fix it. It's, it's like you're you're flying the airplane, then you get to hop out to try and fix it while you're flying. You know, a lot of times I've been under that kind of pressure. So again, uh, I, I, when I was <clears throat> when I was going, I was like, you know, go for my walks, way put unnecessary. Pressure on yourself. I oh, just continue to um, love yourself. You yeah. know, it's okay. Be easy on yourself. Um, you know, like or for 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 me, like I think the driver is like, there's no one that can do what you can do. You've been given something only you can do. And I always say, you know, affirm yourself by saying you're the most, uh, you the baddest. You know, because you need that because. Uh, for me, and I think for me, I use a lot of my rugby um, different yeah. names, and yep. I keep the reflects and and how I do my mahi. You know, like one of the names would be a savage, a savage. If you're growing up in school, so I used to yeah, yeah, be a savage, but also be a savage with integrity. You know, it's, uh, there's, yeah, you can be pedal to the middle, but as long as you still got your license, you know, you're aware of. Um, uh, so yeah, so you know, f- for me, it's um, yeah. All I think the big push has always been well-being. Yeah. You know, um, just 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 go have dinner. Uh, go to the movies. Mm. Yeah, you know, they, they say keep you well, keep going again. Yeah, but I love reading. I love um, learning of other people, even different spaces. Not you for um, just everything now around management and systems. Only because you know we're managing people then, uh, and and uh, then the value of having good systems in place. Um, and again, a lot of that when I hear that, I just think of our rugby, you know, yeah. coaching and have what a big difference being organised, having systems. Um, everyone understands the game plan. Yeah. Everyone knows the goal. And all this, all of that team culture, like how do you make it all work? You know, even if you don't achieve the ultimate goal, which is win, but look at the, your team culture. Look at you know, your value, your family, you know, still learning, growing, you know. And, oh, yeah, it's part of life. We're, not, we're always going to win the big ones. We go again. Yeah. You know, but look at the journey. You can't deny what an awesome journey. So, And if you win it, oh. Even better. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was just uh, mentioning, I could hear a bit of the sports background coming in there. Oh, yeah. um, so I guess for those uh, listeners, you know, uh, international player yourself, so uh, uh, which was, um, man, that was awesome for your family to be, I guess, uh, most of more, yeah. uh, being in there involved. Um, cool arena, was it a like, good good experience uh, being in the, the, that level? Oh, unforgettable. I'll never forget it. Yeah. I still can hear the... Um, the noise of the Millennium Stadium. Yeah, uh, well, I couldn't even um, talk to the person next to me. Oh, was that loud? Yeah, just uh, you know, this kid from Otara. <laughs> you know how I got into the team was another story. Just get plucked out out of a trial, or you know, they had a warm up game against Auckland Samoa. Yeah, plug in Auckland Samoa, <laughs> and um, yeah, and another trial get shorter tap. But that was the year in two thousand where obviously Oruhu we won yeah. the Galaxy Shield. Mm-hmm. So really, we knew, knew some guys in there, and obviously the late great Fatia Lofa kind of knew from families in the area. So yeah, so kind of, but again, yeah, you 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 work your butt off, and um, but to have that to put on the jersey and to see that means more to um, 
your family, yeah. then, and then it's probably uh, the first time I got to hear, you know, my dad say, you know, I'm proud of you. Oh, nice. You know, so that's why I guess 2000 yeah. will always be special because, <laughs> and also my late great auntie that uh, she has got this big photo of, of <coughs> yeah, you know, with um, um, losing mum in 1996, mm. you know, so all these milestones and, you know, when you're sitting by yourself, you know, you just... Um, that she'd be proud And uh, I know she will She would be proud Oh yeah She so, would be it, it, it was awesome So It's There's those things that just keep you going Oh the onions eh So <laughs> cutting <laughs> I thought you were going to I'm going to sing a song yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lovely bro I think um, On that You know uh, And it was um, awesome um, To mention your mum there I know that mum's passed away uh, For many years And you've pretty much been The older sibling Looking after um, Your brother and your sister And um yeah, man, I really credit to you and just supporting Dad. I know, like, uh, I was, uh, always, like I said, you know, the old man's back in, and it's good to hear you guys are back, and I just said, man, I know the old man's got a lot of wealth and knowledge that he mm. wants to pass on. So, yeah, man, get in there, yeah. you know, like you say, man, we learn something new every day, you know, it might be something small. But, uh, yeah, bro, um, just to wrap up, man, it's uh, been awesome listening to it. I actually wanted to talk more about up north and probably the business that you're doing up oh. there. Uh, maybe that can be another Talano. Sounds good. Um, but um, probably just to wrap up, uh, just anything, any words of encouragement, um, uh, not only for our men, uh, but for our community as well, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that Again it's awesome to be here Maybe in, in three Three things Probably number one We live up north Like Sione said But I want to plug in that Three hours it Used to be three and a half But uh, we're getting better I've got some shortcuts From um, From Oromohoi To um, to Otara um, But The distance Is nothing compared to the The lofa And the sacrifice of the people So that's why Coming up and down um, and we love it. We make these moments come for our kids, read books, um, play some gospel songs. If not once can sleep yet, then I play my um um my uh, my um uh, uh Luther and Josh songs. But the reason why I say number one is the quality time with your family, it's gold and then there's windows of your especially if you've got young kids in there, you know, you make every moment count in mm. the car rides, whatever. You just you just make life how you want it. So we've done that a lot and, and yeah, some cool other stuff. We just you got to be innovative and, yeah, just make your life uh, and enjoy it. Number two is um, probably one of the first uh, mentors of me, like, why keep me going? It's just a be the impossible. Um, you know, look at level, you know, um, the things that are impossible, man, uh, are possible with God. And I think that's why we were still going um, because of the foundation in my, in, uh, my faith. And doing what I'm doing, and the last one, yeah, just really, uh, you know, enjoy what the journey. I mean, enjoy life. Life is, is yeah, it's, it's getting a little bit short, but I just wake up with an attitude of gratitude, grateful for another day to keep going, grateful to see my kids and my wife, uh, my family, my brother Bucky. You know, just grateful. You know, just I just find more so now than than earlier on, and I think you kind of when you've been away from home. You know, those, those things, when you come back, you come back, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming back with vengeance, you know, vengeance to, to love, love upon my family, just to be there, connect with my little cousins again, just be where I keep, just be where I can be. And, um, so hopefully those three things, like number one, your, your quality time, number two, be the impossible, and number three, um, enjoy life. Oh, me, brother, waiting for the <laughs> three points. Um, but I love it, love it, uh, how the importance of the connection, uh, one taking, taking away, you know, just enjoying life, man. Yeah. You know, it's like enjoy life with your loved ones, mm. enjoy life with your friends. So, um, once again, bro, thank you. Uh, I think there'll be probably a part two over there because I know there's a lot of the work with Karras that, uh, be keen to have a chat with. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, those of us who have, uh, probably listened to the podcast, um, someone was cutting onions at one stage. <laughs> uh, but that was beautiful. You know, the emotions coming through. So, um, I'm really privileged to have that moment with my, my also here, uh, Falao Saltia. Um, but, um, yeah, just a reminder that, uh, season, season one's been, um, it's been been loaded up, got season two uh, kicking off now. Uh, but yeah, by all means, uh, family, friends, just uh, like, share, and subscribe. Most probably something you hear on all of our YouTube channels.
but um, yeah, meaningful uh, meaningful discussions here um, that be uh, of value um, and yeah, just uh, help you along on your journey. So, uh, my man, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, yeah, till next time, fast over. This was for you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. This was for you. And you, and you. Da 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 da.